Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to everyone. First and foremost, I would like to express my profound thanks and congratulations to the government of Mexico for this excellent arrangement and warm hospitality accorded to all the participants. I also thank UNISDR for their continuous support to disaster risk reduction measures of Myanmar. I'm honored to be here with all of you to reaffirm our commitments to build climate and disaster resilience against the background of sustainable development for our countries and our people. To begin with the brief profile of Myanmar, our country has a long and extensive coastline and several river and storm stream across the country. So we are vulnerable to both hydrological and meteorological disasters, including annual rivering floods, cyclone, storm surge, river bank erosion, tsunami, and others. In addition, other rapid onset disasters, such as earthquakes and flood, flash flood, are likely to hit Myanmar frequently, especially at this era. We suffer from global climate change effects throughout the country. Extreme weather events, ecology degradation due to human error, and unusual pattern of natural disasters are common nowadays. Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Taking this opportunity, I would like to highlight some key action points on what Myanmar is currently doing. First of all, we endorsed disaster management law and bylaw in 2013 and 2015. Development and capacity building of disaster management institutions are priorities of our government. In addition to regular disaster risk reduction measures, we have initiated more effective and proactive approach transparently and openly since our new democratically elected government chair the country in 2016. We believe that we are on the right path for better readiness of our Myanmar community against disasters. Secondly, we have developed disaster management policies which explicitly spotlight building community resilience and seeking partnership with civil service organizations and youth volunteers in disaster risk sectors. We endorse Myanmar National Framework for Community Resilience on March 2017 to provide principles, structures, and approaches to reinforcing community resilience. The national framework identifies six sectoral and thematic areas, such as rural livelihoods and village infrastructure, urban development, environmental conservation and forestry, financial inclusion, social protection, and disaster risk management. To turn the framework into action, thirdly, we have formulating Myanmar Action Plan on Disaster Risk Reduction, MAPDRR, MAP DRR, in 2017, in which some of the community-initiated climate and disaster resilience programs are in consider and will be implemented by Lai Ministries accordingly. Actually, we are formulating a new Myanmar Action Plan for Disaster Risk Reduction in accordance with the Sendai Framework, Sustainable Development Goals, and Paris Agreement. Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, since the community is at the heart of disaster risk reduction countermeasures, we believe in the power of our people and our community who are the key players for acting responsibly to pursue resilience. Keeping this in mind, Myanmar has more emphasized to disaster risk reduction activities, which ensure community leadership, empowerment, active engagement, and cooperation. We want to ask further infrastructure support from international organizations and donor agencies to maintain effective disaster management and to be prepared for better recovery. Myanmar treasures the importance of partnership at the national, regional, and global levels. Lastly, 
I would like to wish our gathering today made a great success for strengthening global partnership and cooperation in the method of disaster risk management and community resilience. Thank you very much.